Hi, my name is Christian Sandoval, and I am the president and founder of the Earnabyte. What inspired me to create the event was that uh, when I was a child, uh, I come from a, a family where my father passed away and uh, my mother had to raise us and she had a lot of work that she had to do. She spent a lot of hours outside of the home and I kind of found myself in a bicycle. I really liked uh, riding bicycles and when I was you know, at home and I didn't have anything to do, instead of getting in trouble, I used to just take my bike and I used to go ride and, and th those were very special moments to me. So one day I was riding by the west side in, here in San Antonio. I'm originally from Guatemala. So I was riding in San Antonio and I saw these kids playing in a ditch. And I, it just took me back to when I was young. And I just saw them there and I thought, well, I don't want them to get into any trouble. What can I do to help out? And it just took me back to my bicycle. So I said, well, what if I give them bicycles, right? And maybe they're going to have the same fun that I had when I was a kid. Earn a Bike started actually on the west side. It was a small uh, home that we had bought. And the idea was we wanted to create opportunity for children to get access to bikes and to refurbish old bikes. And so it started small with we would bring bikes in, we would let children come and learn how to fix the bikes, repair tires, repair chains. And once they earned enough hours, they got to earn their own bike that they got to go home with. A lot of the program itself is trying to go focusing on attendance, good behavior, school performance, and then also just having a goal to achieve something and work towards. And that's part of the Earn a Bike program. In addition to the school program that they have, one of the rewards is a day like today, which is you know, right in December, earn a bike for the holidays, where we have a gym full of 80 bikes on this side, 80 bikes over there, super excited. We have over 160 volunteers, and this is what we plan as a board throughout the year with fundraising, different efforts, logistics, to make sure that this is just an amazing experience for both our volunteers in the community and also for our well and deserving young individuals that we can make an impact on their lives. The reason why I really stuck with the organization is because of what we do, you know, that we're here out, you know, with these kids who, some of them, it might be their first new bike or, you know, they don't have one or they wanted one for the holidays. And not only that, but like teaching them about health and nutrition and that working hard to equal success is really why I, I'm a part of Earn a Bike. What I look forward to the most when I come and volunteer is just the moment is so magical and I look forward to it every year. I've been doing this, this is gonna be my, this is my fourth year. I love to see the smiles in the children's uh, face when they come in, the excitement, and then just knowing that they've worked so hard to earn that bike at the end of the year. It was just real, thrilling to see the children uh, ride their bikes. They were so proud of themselves and they had their t-shirts on. I earned it. And, uh, you know, with a look of pride on their faces. Looking forward to volunteering is just seeing the kid's face. The fact of, one, building their first bike, you know, or some of them receiving their first bike, especially the fact that they've accomplished so, more, so much in order to receive, get it. Maybe a lot of future bikers here, as well as you know, realizing their hard work and everything they have to accomplish in order to earn this free bike continues on for them. And many of our earn a bike kids have talked about this moment that they've had a couple years ago. And whether they're riding a new bike or just enjoying life and achieving new goals in their life is, is kind of what we're trying to achieve and have that sense of empowerment that we need. I think that them working hard and, and doing their lessons and like them working for this goal of earning a bike and then when they and they do this for 10 weeks so then when they finally earn it I mean I think they have to feel so proud of themselves and that just sense of empowerment I think is what's really important. The fact that you're seeing a lot of the volunteers you work with you know year after year and everybody as a community, as a bicycle community, continues coming down to support all the youth in San Antonio. And you see them. 
you see them, it's like a family coming every year to get together. You know, I what helped me decide to be on the board of directors is I had volunteered a couple of years. And so my good friend, Chris Potter, reached out to me and uh, we coordinated. And uh, it's been a successful uh, relationship and a great, great uh, event that I've been part of. The reason Earn a Bike was so important to me was because as a vascular surgeon or a doctor that takes care of all the blood vessels in the body, one of the problems that patients have that when they come to me is that they are obese, they have diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. So I figured, how do we inspire kids to be able to live healthy lives? And if we can teach them nutrition, which is one thing we do with Earn a Bike in the schools, and we teach them bike, bike safety and bike maintenance, then we empower them with the information to eat healthy, live healthy, and hopefully an inspiration to get on a bike and so we can show kids that leading these active, healthy lifestyles is fun. It actually also gets you to your goals of what you want to accomplish. And what's even more enjoyable is that our members in the community from different cycling groups to different individuals of all walks of life, just allowing to give an opportunity for a half hour to an hour to get to know somebody. And this is a great opportunity for the kids to learn and that's why we call it a bike build coach mentor. Because it's not just about, hey, let me build the bike for you. Because that's not what we want to do. Let's learn about this together. What do you think's next? And then at the end, we actually get to do a bike ride with the kids. I would love to see a bunch more students, you know, bigger builds, more volunteers, and honestly, to reach every area of San Antonio. If you're thinking of volunteering, ex especially at this holiday, at this time during the holidays. Just do it. It's, you leave and it's just a great experience and you want to make sure you do it every year.